ladies and gentlemen, our first contender, hailing at six foot six inches tall, weighing 266 pounds, he is the scourge of the living who envy the dead, baptized in the river where the water runs red. He is the red dirt devil, the high priest of pain, the gifted, the god sin, Gideon V! Here we go once again. I've got my groceries over here. Renee's got even more. We got a big piece. Did you go back over to the concession? Somebody loaned me some money, and I was able to I get saw, some I heard stuff you over there. there. I tried to get Chris, but he acts like he you has no money. I, that. I doubt that. I seen him pull up in a Mercedes in the back over there. I don't know what he's talking about. Get in vain. Here comes trouble, Rusty. The holder of the grandest prize in PCW has arrived. Gideon Vane. Getting some really dark vibes from Gideon Vane here. I mean, there's just an intensity to this guy. I'm sure you remember earlier this year, we had a fantastic show right here in Hutchinson. Oh, yeah. Reawakening. And uh, this gentleman put on what I would say is probably the performance of the night against tonight's opponent, Shane Sanders. Russ, you remember this? Absolutely. And one-on-one -on -one tonight, that PCW Grand Prairie Championship is going to be on the line. Absolutely gorgeous championship. And now for his opponents. He is the current Grand Prairie Champion. Weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Rollins, Wyoming. The Blue Collar Brawler, Shane Sanders. I'm confused here, Renee. Who's the ch his champion right now? Why's, why's Gideon got the belt? Well, there's definitely a backstory here. What I can tell you for sure that Shane Sanders. Enlighten me on this. Well, my understanding. Wait a minute. I'm all struck here. Whoa. A new intensity here from the blue collar brawler. And I'll tell you what, he's quite fired up. I don't have all the specific details, but. You know what, that championship has belonged to Shane Sanders for quite a while now. Somehow Gideon Vane has gotten his nasty little paws on it. I don't think he's getting ready to let it go. So in order to kind of settle this beef, they're gonna go ahead and compete for it here tonight. What do you think about that? Well, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, you might, you're, you're just as intimidated you as to, I am. You might have to draw it out for me on this, this one here. Yeah, I don't know. It's. I know these two have an extreme history, and there's some serious mind games that Gideon Vane has been playing on Shane Sanders. Well, and without a question, this goes beyond the ring between these two. And it's my understanding this is a monster's ball match. Did I get that right, or am I, I misinformed? Okay, no, this is a Monsters Ball match. A Monsters Ball match. We may have to get some clarification on what that means exactly. Here's what we do know. Um, the PCW Grand Prairie title is absolutely on the line. And we have, looks like there's a few, is there some weapons that are going to be around ringside? Ah, that's why they were bringing out all those crutches and chairs and all kinds of stuff. This I, I think be, this may be like a bit of a hardcore type yeah, matchup. This could here. be a very dangerous matchup here for the PCW Grand Prairie Championship. And of course, that bell indicates the go. beginning of this matchup. Our official for this one will be Brett the Wall. Brett the Wall once again. 
this is going to be a big one. Well, he, well, speaking of big, I mean, there's a reason it's called the Monsters Ball. And typically, at any matchup they're in, Rusty, these guys are, are, are outsizing, outweighing, outmuscling their competition. But you want to talk about, like, dead even, you're talking about Gideon Vane and Shane Sanders. As far as size, of course. This is going to be a back and forth one where there's no love loss between these two right here. Well, I've seen Gideon Vane strikes take men out one shot match over the guy like Shane Sanders it's not going to be quite that easy not at all and now you've thrown some weapons into this wow this is going to be this is going to be a dangerous matchup but have you ever seen Shane Sanders like this I mean he usually comes out here with the hard hat you know we know he's got some steel work in his background uh, he's just a blue collar guy hard working just like the great people of Kansas but this this new face, this new persona that we're seeing from him is something different than what we have ever seen before. Well, it almost looks like it's kind of throwing Gideon Vane off his game Wait, a little sportsmanship? bit. What is... Sportsman? Come on now, this is not the kind of match yeah. where you, you give another this guy is, a handshake. This is not what I was expecting Shane at all. Shane Sanders is far too tenured to fall for something like this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, I think he's getting a little bit more Definitely than what he bargained for. Squeezing away there, takes down Gideon Vane. Okay, this version of Shane Sanders is even catching Gideon Vane by surprise. He almost seems like he's in shock out there. Not really yeah. sure how to, how to take this version of Shane Sanders. Lots of intimidation going on on both ends in this matchup here. I don't know, it's... It's all over the place. Gideon Vane, he's got a crutch over there now. Sanders hot on his trail on the outside. Sanders just Brent seems Wall, like, like right behind full him. Of, seems like full of anger, like like hatred. I don't I can't oh. put my finger on it with Sanders right now. Uh-oh. Oh, crutch to the head. Right and to the Sanders head. Sanders still on his feet. This sort of intensity is hard to come by, Rusty. Oh! He nails him in the back of the head, and Sanders is still up. He's headbutting the crutch. Have you ever seen anything like this before in your whole life? I've never seen anything like that. Oh, <laughs> Gideon, Gideon is intimidated. You're seeing what I'm seeing, right? I definitely see it. You know, I think Brett the Wall, you better move. Oh, watch right? out. <laughs> Shane, Shane might be digging into that bag of tricks of that intimidation. If I remember right, he utilized this at one point in time many years ago when he took on Abyss. That would make sense. You that, gotta go to the I next level when you're bring, taking on a guy I like just that. just dawned on me when I got a little closer look at that makeup. That's the same type he was using. It's that intimidation he's bringing back into this matchup here, and he's going to use the same tactics on Gideon Vane. Oh! oh! And the crutch is bent like a pretzel. Look at that. Right there. Shane Good. Sanders is operating on a whole yeah. other level right now. Let's just say that's not going to be able to be donated to the Goodwill. Not at all. Not after this matchup. Shane Sanders now continuing to operate with that crutch in his hands, and Gideon Vane is in a significant amount of trouble on the outside right now. Oh, now maybe you can help me clarify this. This match can can end via submission? Like, is it a pin? or, or Submission will do it. Okay. Pinfall will do it. It's just weapons are legal in this one. It's a monster's ball match. So basically, Brett the Wall is just here to count to three. Absolutely. And we're sure he's capable. Well, now nah, you're asking, uh, yeah, wrong we'll, person we'll on see. that one. We'll have to see. As I always warn for those folks that are that are in VIP, be very, very Watch careful. That actually could be on your lap in a matter of moments. He's got a table out there. Look out. Sanders with the hardware setting up that table. And I'll tell you what. These table things, it could really go either way, Rusty. You set it up with the intention of nailing the other guy, and it could very well be you going through it. That's exactly it. You never know what's going to happen. Uh-oh, here we go. Ooh, Sanders 
intending on putting Gaines' head right to the uh, to the post. He ends up catching a bit of that himself and a little more this time. Ooh. Gideon Vane wisely out of the way and now he takes control. Oh, right into the ring post. PCW Grand Prairie title is on the line in this one here. These two have fought all over most of 2021 and it's culminated right here in Memorial Hall. I'm sure Adam Pena, the Grand Prairie, uh, um, the PCW champion, uh, I'm sorry, the PCW commissioner, very anxious to see who comes out of top here. Either men would make a great representative for PCW as the Grand Prairie champion. Ooh. Right out here in the VIP section. Told you, right sit at your table. own risk. Ooh. And once again, the metal post playing a big factor in this matchup. There's really only one way to take a big guy like this out. You have to use some sort of inanimate He's object. got the crutch again. I think he just bent it the complete other way. Oh. Oh, oh wait a got? minute. What did he got? What's he got, Renee? Can you see? Knuckles, Brent, ice the, pick. The I'm not 100% sure. The, wait, get out of the way, Brent. I can't see. What in the world did, what he, did he just use? use? I'm not sure. Whatever it was, it took its toll. Were those nuts? Almost looked like it. Now they're going oh! right into the wall. Down here on the bottom. He's got the garbage can. Fans are having to run for cover already. Clear it, out of the freaking way. It's pandemonium already. It is. We've seen quite a bit of action already outside the ring today, and it's only getting worse. All over the place. Steel chair chairs. The... I can't. Whoa. I can't even see. Mama mia! What's going those on over there, Renee? Can you forever. see any better than I can? Well, not so much. I can tell you They're right over in the back. I'm gonna have to stick. God, you got your stuff over here. I gotta stand up. I, I'm all. Oh, it's me who's caught on it. All right, there we go. Okay, Shane Sanders seems to be winding up here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh using right a security the, guard like a lot of guard. We got security down over there. I can't. He used a security guard like a lawn dart and chucked him right into Gideon Bay. This is, this is just, just pandemonium, like I said earlier. It's just chaos. We are all over the place once again. Sanders instructing fans to move the heck out of the way. It looks like the carnage is going to continue here at Wrestle Brawl. Wow. Uh-oh. Whoop. You heard him make a big chop over there. I can't. There he goes into the... Oh! Where did he land? I didn't Bain even see. He's lands on a handful of chairs, and he goes crashing through them. Looked like a car accident over there, it Rusty. It almost looked like it. My God, somebody... We got... We already got people down. Secu we got one security gone. He's down. Well, the security guards are even apprehensive at this point, and I don't They're not even them. getting involved. Where did... Oh! Trash cans being used over there. This is just insane. Monsters ball match type of carnage that we're used to seeing from two big monsters like this, Rusty. These fans are distracted. They're, they're trying to keep an eye on this stuff that's going on. And now Gain into the wall. I'm sorry, Vane into the wall and Shane Sanders now grabbing another object. Oh. But Gideon Vane able to get the foot up and stop the momentum of that chair twice now. They're clear over on the far side over there. I can't make out what's going on. Looks like Gideon Vane, he's got Shane Sanders down. No, oh, Shane's back uh -oh, up. Oh, not I so see fast. Him. I can see him over there. Big this knee to the gut. And now the chair, Rusty. Oh. Gideon is losing his mind over there with that steel chair. Uh oh. Is that Boom! There, oh, I hope nobody's at the merch tables there. He said they're going to be a first surprise. Over to the next zip code. Where are they going? Fans are having to run for their lives. They're there outside. Oh, Fans my are goodness. going out of the outside. Clear them out. I can't see. I can't see. Rusty, they have officially the left outside. the building. What's going on out there? These guys doing their best Elvis well, impersonation. Renee, what are we supposed to do? They left the building. Well, how can, why do we know how, who's going to win? Uh, I don't know, but I think there's concessions Sweet. and merch over there. Well, how do we know? There could be a, 
There could be a pinfall right now, and we're just sitting here. Uh-oh, here they oh, come. Wait, here they come again. Back towards the ring, 100 miles an hour. The official Brett Wall They're falling closely back. behind here. Look out. Up over the VIP tables. Right over the table. We got fans running for their lives over here once again. Sanders taking the long way around, catching his breath in the process. We got kids screaming. It's just, just pandemonium. Uh-oh. No, no, no. He has not forgotten Rusty reintroducing that table into this, this devastating. Oh! Right across the back. And another. Drills him right into the back of the head. You know, this equation continues to get more and more complex. The more weapons that they introduce, these guys have been all over the building. Oh. And, and I'm afraid that it's not going to get any better, Rusty. That The carnage is just absolutely out of control. Just, Both oh, of these monsters over. taking no mercy on each other. Gideon Vane back into the inside of the ring once again. Shane Sanders, a whole new Shane Sanders. Oh, right into the midsection. A bit too slow that, that time. A bit slow. Ooh. Shane Sanders should react. Uh-oh. He's hitting him with the, the, the bottom end of that chair, man. Might have caught him almost in the eye. He's planting that chair right in between the top and middle turnbuckle there. Uh-oh, we know in usually how this ends. Somebody's, gonna do? somebody's head's going to go straight through that thing. I'm telling you right it's now. It's very possible. Lines him up. Oh, the reversal. reversal. Oh, Gideon right into the chair himself. Gideon. Set himself up. I got to admit that. He went head first in that chair, Rusty, and he is in a world of danger right now. I'm almost wondering if that's something he's going to be able to recover from. I'm not so sure, Ooh. especially if those shots persist. Ooh, and another. <laughs> you can hear those all I was about over. to say, he's better off falling. He's going to keep taking shots like that. Out to the outside here, Shane Sanders with Gideon Vane. I mean, these guys... Don't forget PCW, Grand Prairie title. That is right, That is on the line. My understanding is that these two individuals are human. At some point, somebody's going to get worn out, but I'm not so sure that's even true anymore. I don't know. These guys are truly monsters of the Midwest. They absolutely are. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Sanders! Sanders! Got him out! We've been using that word repeatedly in this matchup, but there's no better way there's to describe stud. what we're seeing. That's all it is. It's an absolute car wreck out here. There's stuff laying everywhere. Sanders strategically placing Gideon back inside the ring. Could this be the end? Will Shane Sanders be able to proclaim himself and hold that championship PCW Grand Prairie champ? Wait it's just a minute. Dang, uh -oh. they're going to short string there. Wait a minute. Uh oh, a bit of a one -on unwelcome guest. One of the hunters in there. Oh, but he was caught. Watch out. Up on the shoulders. Boom! Drilled down, throwing the hunter. Why is the hunter out here? This has nothing to do with him. Well, he might be wondering, too, what's been going on out here. So he wanted to come out and get a first hand look. Oh! And that's what he gets for his trouble. Hunter down and out. He should have never came out here. I don't think that was, oh, oh, right across the head. Vane using the championship belt that Thor, Thor brought out here to take advantage. Get in, Vane. This could be it. No He's way. Done. Shane Sanders. Boom. Oh, drills him down. He gets the cover. Could this be it? Blue Collar Brawler gets the left Kicked shoulder out. up, Rusty, Kicked and this out. match will continue. How did he do it? How did he do it, Renee? Gideon Vane absolutely in shock right now. He cannot believe that Sanders kicked out. Ooh. A lariat to the back of the head, and is that enough? Just drilled it I'm down I'm not convinced. Hard. 
Wait, wait, wait. Was that a kick out after one? That almost looked like it. I don't think San Sanders realized that this is supposed to be going in the other direction. He kicked out after one. How in the world? Vain, wait, wait a minute. Vane has lost it. Oh, Vane has lost it. The chair once again. Boom! That time to the Temple of Sanders. Oh, boom! Another shot to the Temple of Shane Sanders. I, I just, I'm in shock right now, Rusty. I don't, I even, don't know. I don't understand. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. And why did Thor the Hunter even come out here? I don't know. We got a lot of research to do. This just is just absolute carnage. There, what is that? There's the Tornado Alley Championship. What's it doing in the ring? The world may never know. Uh oh. He's going to utilize it. Is he going to plant he's Sanders' gonna, head in that belt? He's going to have a Tornado Alley stamp right on his face oh, there. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This could end Shane Sanders' career. What is he doing? Oh, between oh. the belt and the steel chair. That's going to leave a mark. Rolls him over. Barely able to lay on top of him for the cover. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Your winner and the new PCW he Grand the Prairie new Champion. PCW Gideon Grand Prairie Hayes. Champion. There it is. Oddly enough, we have a new champion, but the man that walked in with the belt, Rusty, will also be the man that walks out with it. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I, it's just, it's absolute insanity. This matchup here. But we have history right here. Brand new PCW Grand Prairie Champion, Gideon Vane. And not only are we witnessing the crowding of a new champion, I think we're also witnessing an unholy alliance here between Thor the Hunter and your new PCW Grand Prairie Champion, Gideon Vane. There you see it. An alliance has been formed. Ladies and gentlemen,